Hi learners, this is Mrs. J. Mary Neneklin Rexella, Assistant Professor and Head, Department of English, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangur. I am very happy to share you the syllabus of an introduction to the social history of England by A. G. Xavier. The first unit which contains four chapters namely the Renaissance, the Reformation, the Elizabethan theatre and the religion of England. The first chapter Renaissance, the Renaissance. Renaissance means rebirth. The term Renaissance means rebirth. It is the period of a new spirit of freedom, inquiry, thought and action. Revolution in social, political and religious ideas. According to Professor Jeff, it is a transition in Europe from the medieval to modern order. When you come to the social, it's a birth of new social conditions, breaking up the regime of feudalism and chivalry. Religion, it is the reformation and the counter-reformation. When come to the art and literature, it was the recovery of masterpieces. Example, Michelangelo's The Statue of Moses, Raphael's Madonna's and Leonardo da Vinci, The Last Supper. According to the student of the scientist, it was the maritime exploration, astronomy, anatomy, physiology and modern science. Inventions the most important was the inventions of invention of printing press. The art of printing introduced in Europe by John Gutenberg of Germany in 1454. The first Latin Bible printed in 1455. And the next one, Mariner's Compass, which enabled sailors to undertake longer voyages. With the invention of telescope, observers could scan the sky which made the beginning of the science of astronomy. Classical Literature Three Oxford friends, namely Thomas Lineker, William Grossel, Hugh Latimer, studied in Italy and later lectured on Greek at Oxford University. John Collett founded the first school, namely St. Paul's School. And the first headmaster of the school was William Lyley, who taught Latin grammar for two decades. It was also the age of a period of age of translation. The books, namely Virgil, Ovid, Cesaro, Demosthenes, Plutarch, were translated into English. It was the period. Columbus discovered America and Vasco da Gama reached Calicut on the west coast of India through the Cape of Good Hope in 1498. The next chapter, the Reformation. It was the greatest religious movement of the 16th century. The initiator of this was Martin Luther King. He opposed the practices of the Church of England like indulgence purgatory and Eucharist. He opposed the confession and also the practices which the Catholic churches maintained the bread and wine concept. He nailed 95 debating points at the door of Wittenberg Church on 31st October 1517 against the practices of the church. As a result, excommunication was issued against him. Henry VIII wrote the defense of doctrines against the Lutheranism. It was encouraged by Pope Leo X and he gave the title to Henry VIII, the defense of Fidi, which means the defender of faith. This Henry VIII, he, get, he wish, wished to get an annulment of his marriage with, with the Catherine of Aragon. He wanted this because he was completely captured by the charm of Annie Boleyn, a young lady in waiting at the court who would not be satisfied with anything other than being his queen. 
it was not accepted by the pope so he formed the parliament named reformation parliament in the year 1529 in 1534 he passed the act of supremacy in the reformation parliament in which henry will be the supreme head of the church and not the pope in 1536 he also passed bill to dissolve all the monasteries monasteries means churches in which they which possessed much wealth in 1539 a bill was passed which became known as the statute of six articles men called them the whip with six strings the law imposed a death penalty on any one who questioned the doctrine of trans transubstantiation In 1549 the first prayer book was introduced in which a complete manual of prayer worship for the church services in the English language was prepared by archbishop of Cranmer Mary's reign when Mary ascended the throne she introduced with the hope of wiping out protestantism from england she started burning people at a place called smithfield during the short period of 5 years of mary mary reign she burned 300 people including john rogers cranmer the learned redley and the eloquent preacher latimer when elizabeth came to the reign she introduced common prayer book and she also introduced the act of supremacy an act of uniformity these two acts were passed in the act of supremacy made the church of england independent of rome but gave elizabeth the less provocative title of supreme governor rather than supreme head of the church of england the other act was the act of uniformity which not only put upon all clergy the duty of conducting their services strictly according to the prayer book but also imposed on all people in the country that going to the church on every sunday and other holy days in which reformation brought peace through the elizabethan compromise where areas in many other european countries it caused religious civil wars the elizabethan theater when you come to the elizabethan theater it was the strolling players in which the period of strolling players actors had to go to the audience instead of audience coming to the actors the first permanent theater was inter- built in 1576 by james burbage it was known as the theater later the theater rose was built in 1587 and the third and the theater globe was built in 1599 and the theater fortune was built in the year 1600 this elizabethan theater ha- has no proper stage appliances no drop curtain it ends with the rhyming couplet which consists of two lines and no female performers performers all the actions and also the female performance will be enacted by the male by disguising them as a female seats seats were differently uh, allotted to different kind of people namely those who pay well will be allotted galleries and the well to do boxes the privileged persons can occupy stools and the audience groundlings noisy section of spectators can stood in the yard it was the period transition of religious drama to modern that is non religious dumb shows inside the church was conducted by clergymen Miracle plays and morality plays was introduced. The first English dramatist was Robert Greene. He was the university wiz. Shakespeare. He wrote 37 plays. Comedies, tragedies, histories, 
romances comedies ends with happy ending tragedy will end with a sad happenings and death of a hero or heroes heroines history is the historical event is will be is will be explained and romances romances ends with a happy wedding shakespeare used both prose and poetry in his plays prose was enacted by minor characters and poetry will be enacted by major characters where areas elizabethan plays is in verse not in prose and the last chapter of the first unit the religion of england the religion of england was divided were divided was divided into two groups of people loyal catholics and protestants where areas catholics were loyal to the pope protestants or the people who protest against the authority of the pope in 1950 roman catholics population were 10% at present the national religion is anglicanism or the church of england anglicanism differs from catholicism anglicanism does not accept pope does not give high honor to the virgin mary the mother of jesus christ it consists of 43 dioceses 43 bishops two archbishops archbishop the power of archbishops of canterbury is in south and the archbishops of york is in the north the where areas the archbishop is appointed by the king or queen who is the real head of the church of england two groups in church of england high church and low church high church in which high place to the authority and the claims of the Epis- episcopate or priesthood they can do the sermons but the low church it was not take place by these high places there was another uh, religion puritans eager to purify the church of england their descendants were known as dissenters because they were shut out of the anglican church under the clarendon code the dissenters were the parent body of what are now called non conformist or the free churches the most important of which are the methodist baptist congregationalist presbyterians quakers unitarians and adventist <coughs> methodist this movement was started in the year 1729 by john wesley there were two leaders in theological doctrines wesley believed in arminianism that is the doctrine taught by arminius the dutch theologian it says that jesus died not only for the elect but for all men that man by his free will can accept or reject the offer of divine grace and the next one whitefield on the other hand believed in calvin's doctrine or pedestri- predestination which says the god's inscrutable will has chosen men and women for eternal salvation in res- irrespective of their personal merits and that these elect cannot fall from grace <coughs> baptist the baptist as a distinct protestant protestant sect came into existence in the existence in the middle of the 17th century it was the general practice that a child is baptized uh, by sprinkling water within a week or two of its birth but according to this baptist according to the strict baptist admit to holy communion the more uh, only persons who have been baptized as adults john bunyan the fame most famous of english baptist he was the author of the famous book the pilgrim's progress baptist belief was introduced in america in the year 1639 the baptist missionary society was founded in the year 1792 congregationalist galist or congregationalism they separate themselves from anglican church according to them christ is the only head of the church 
Bible is the sufficient rule of faith and practice. Government rests with the congregation itself. Next, Presbyterians. Group of protest, Protestant Christians without bishops. Church government is managed by presbyters or elders. The sacraments, that is the sermons, will be uh, preached by clerics or ministers, while the preaching will be the elders. In Quakerism, Quakerism or Society of Friends, it was established between 1648 and 1650 by George Fox. He was the son of Leicester Shire Weaver. The cardinal doctrine of his faith is that every man is guided by God. Their worship is simple and silent. According to them, they refuse to take part in the war. The next group of people, Unitarianism. The doctrine of them is God is one person. The famous Unitarianism is Coleridge, important poet. A short time he acted as a minister at Shrewsbury. And the last Adventist. They were the group of Christians believed the second coming of Christ. First coming of Christ was as the savior of the world. And the second was expected to be as judge of mankind. The Seventh day Adventist who keep Saturday as their day of rest. They undertake wide scale of missionary work, both religious and social, especially in Africa. They climb about 10,000 members in Britain and 3 lakhs 50,000 in the USA. So, we have completed the four chapters in the unit one. Thank you.